Hi, Henry and everyone. Tony, uh, Doyle. It's great to see everybody. I'm Rick Black, and I helped publish the book, the new book. And uh, had a lot of hope, a lot of hope, a lot of help. <laughs> we had a lot of hope, but we also had a lot of help from from different people. Uh, Kathleen O'Toole and Rafael de Gratola, who couldn't be here today. And of course, Tony, Father Doyle, and uh, George, Ben, uh, a million others, just about everybody here helped with the book in, in one way or another. Um, and talking about the heat, uh, we had an incredible lightning storm in Virginia. I drove up this morning, but Friday night we had an incredible storm and it knocked out our electricity. So I was sleeping on the basement floor last night to keep cool. And I said to myself, there's got to be a haiku in here somewhere or other, but <laughs> I'm not quite sure where. <laughs> But it's an honor to, to be here, and uh, I, I've never come to one of these ceremonies before. Just to kind of feel this poem in front of me in the granite is kind of a special, special feeling. Um, but Nick's book, we, we've done real well with it, and I like to sometimes combine poems with uh, images, with, with art. And so the last couple times that I've been up in Camden, I've taken some photos and along the way I've learned how to turn photos into paintings on the computer. And so we're not really quite sure what we're going to do with these things yet, but I wanted to share them with you. So the uh, one picture that I framed down there is a picture that I took down in DC of the cherry blossoms on the, uh, what do they call it there, the tidal basin. Uh, with Nick's poem. Could you read it, Tony? Yeah. Vietnam Monument, mirroring cherry blossoms and gold star mothers. Vietnam Monument, mirroring cherry blossoms and gold star mothers. Nick Virgilio. How much, Rick? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then, uh, I did these other ones too, and I'll, I'll leave them up front, and people can just look through them. Um, but this is one I really love. I'll hold it up. I don't know if you can see it. The far line of trees and the river bridge beyond connecting cities. The far line of trees and the river bridge beyond connecting cities. And I had, I just went outside after the reading at uh, Rutgers and I clicked this picture and I think I was standing, I was standing up somehow or other and uh, just played around with it. And so. I think you'll all recognize this place. Can you see the Elgin Diner? <laughs> Thanksgiving alone, ordering eggs and toast in an undertone. Thanksgiving alone, ordering eggs and toast in an undertone. Father Doyle, I think you'll recognize this, this location. Does it look familiar? There's a mural outside of the church on the street there. Morning sun, my shadow walking, swinging its arms. Morning sun, my shadow walking, swinging its arms. So those are some of the Camden ones. And then I also, um, 
I thought it would be interesting to do something with the Vietnam poems that Nick wrote. And so I went online and there are all these phenomenal pictures in the public domain from, taken by the Department of Defense or the Army or the Navy or, or somebody or other that are free for the public to use. And I found this picture of a, a GI and on his helmet you'll see each month he has written crossed off like he's waiting to go home. And the poem I put with it was, on the darkened wall of my dead brother's bedroom, the dates and how tall. On the darkened wall of my dead brother's bedroom, the dates and how tall. And there's others here too. I mean, I, I guess in my mind, I kind of hope we would have a, maybe a show somewhere, you know, I can make these larger and we could blow them up and it might be a nice, nice thing to do. So, um, thank you all so much.